What's happening guys, this is Taff, this is uh, the Kenty Choir YouTube channel and this is my next instalment of uh, Taff's Weekly Word or well, Weekly Blog, whatever you want to call it So, 1-0, home to Mansfield on the beach Happy, I'm happy um, We're 8 points adrift of relegation with games in hand over the teams below and above us um, I think there's only really hard to pull who've actually got a game in hand over us but, you know, they're not playing well Dagenham are losing all the time, Yeovil are up and down, York uh, are losing more than what they're winning. Um, I know they've been battling and getting a few points here and there, but um, teams like Stevenage, Morgan, Barnet, Notts County and all that are there for the taking there as well. So we're not only drifting away from the more immediate relegation rivals, but we're actually pulling more teams into it. And we're getting to the point where relegation is going to be a thought of the past and um, a, a good, respectable mid-table finish is real, a real possibility. I mean, I'm not going to get carried away and say we're going to make a late playoff surge because that's just absurd, really. Um, mind you, though, with some of the points, <laughs> we've stupid points we've dropped throughout the season, you, you, you can think, what if? But to be honest with you, um, with the topsy-turvy season that we've had so far, to be honest... I think a nice, um, boring finish does me really well, to be honest. Just a f boring mid-table meh finish. That's all I want. You know, just get this, you know, just end the season on a good note. Um, give Warren Feeney a platform to build on for next season. And who knows what next season might bring. Northampton are running away with the title at the moment. They're going to win it, as far as I'm concerned. It's going to be Northampton who's going to take it. And um, they could have gone down last year. And they had a bad run the season before as well. And a good run is what saved them from relegation the season before that. And anyone who watches the blogs, I'm not sure if you remember, but I actually said on our first ever away trip in the Football League, well, not our first ever, but our first ever as the new Newport County, um, first away trip of the Football League, um, league away trip, obviously, because we had Brighton just before that. Um, I said that we're playing against a real contender um, on that day, and um, they haven't been a contender until now, but it's just showing the potential in the club. And there's absolutely no reason why we can't go and do the same. You know? I mean, attendance, attendances, I think, obviously, anyone who's seen um, the uh, video I put up uh, yesterday... Um, we'll see that there's a hope that we're going to start doing more things that's going to start putting more people through the gates for, for, for the for the home games give us that bit of extra revenue and um, who knows if, if we can um, look at what the rugby um, can deal with us with you know well, what kind of deal we can strike with them you know for you know bar takings and food takings on the on the day next season who knows what kind of uh, you know income we can generate next year what kind of budget we can work with and it looks like Warren Feeney is the type that doesn't need a massive budget to work with so um, you know he's, he, he's like a gift from God really isn't he I mean he's taken on what John Sheridan has done and is taking it up a notch or two certainly get the best out of Scott Bowden an ex-striker I mean it's not surprising really is it I think Warren Feeney um, he's having a really good influence I think it's great that he lives locally um, it's, it's no Parkway Express bollocks like it was with uh, um, uh, Daki and uh, Justin Edinburgh. Obviously, we all know the rumours of Justin. Um, obviously, that kind of thing can happen if Warren Feeney's in his family home. So that can't force a manager out of our club. So I think the only thing is now is uh, I've got to not interview him. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but whenever I've had an interview with a manager, um, a couple of weeks later, they've gone. So... I put a stop to it. Players have been okay though. I'll, I'll stick with the players. Danny Holmes should be my next interview. Danny, if you're watching this, I'll be seeing you soon, mate. Anyway, Scott Bowden. I gotta mention Scott Bowden. Um, he's scoring goals. Um, I, I've seen goals in him from the beginning. Obviously, he scored against Wolves. He scored against Leighton Orient, and a few here and there. And um, with the right type of players around him, he's definitely got the goals in him, and he's proven that now. Um, some of his goals haven't been the most spectacular of goals, you know, um, but you got to get yourself in the right position and you've got to take the chance at the end of the day. I mean, even the best strikers bottle it. Raheem Sterling, you know, a £50 million player, missed, a, missed two sitters in a cup final for a team 
you know, that he he ditched one team for another to win trophies and he nearly cocked it all up for himself, you know. Um, it just goes to show that, you know, uh, composure is a big thing in football and thankfully uh, Scotty Bowden has, has got his composure where we need it right now. I think Connor Wilkinson, we've got to do everything we can to keep that guy until the end of the season because what an absolute player he is. You know, I mean, if, if, if you're looking at the same things I'm looking at, he is phenomenal, he's got it all. Um, next season, I think Bolton will go down. He'll be their, you know, he'll be their main striker in League One. I think he's definitely League One standard. So, uh, you know, make the most of him while we can, while we got the chance to have him. You know, um, looking at things now, um, Darren Jones. That's been a master stroke that I've uh, bringing him back. I mean, I know there's some um, people that have uh, mentioned him about his move to Forest Green and you know going there in the first place. But um, I think there's more than what meets the eye with that. Um, I, I I don't think he's entirely to blame. But um, you know, I, I I don't particularly know the story fully, but I might know a few things that have been thrown around. And uh, you know, but it doesn't matter now. He's coming and he's doing a job for us now, which is all that really matters. Um, I think bringing Mitchell Beanie to the football club has brought the best out of Joe Day. A couple of clean sheets. Um, I know he conceded against Exeter, but that was just one of those goals. But um, you know he's he's putting off some saves as well, which we all know he's capable of doing. I think Danny Ums has uh, has been brilliant for us lately, and um, I also think Scott Barrow is looking decent for us again. Now I thought I thought a lot of him at the beginning of the season. One of the only few good things at the beginning of the season, and to see him playing more often, um, he seems to have a cooler head now. Um, you know it's great. Uh, you know a lot of a lot of our players. You know we're, we're getting the best ball out of them. Um, another lone player that's got to stay is Ben Davis, of course. Um, I think he's been brilliant. Uh, he, he's been quality. So um, we we got a good side now. You know we got a side that's capable of beating any of the teams in our division on on our day. And um, it seems to be more of a cutting edge about our team. Whereas you know the team at the beginning of the season would have dropped a lot of points in the last few games. Where does this team uh, are making the most of these games and they're actually taking the points, and it's ultimately going to save us from relegation. I mean, if if you've got me on Facebook, you've seen I put a post. I'm 100% certain we're not going down. I stand by that. I'm 100% certain we are not going down. So yeah, ev everything's going in the right direction now, and um, you know it, it's starting to feel good to be a Newport County fan again. Um, at the beginning of the season, I gotta be fair. I I, I was quite a numb person. Um, I didn't really like talking about it that much. Um, I was going to the games, nervous, you know, going there already feeling defeated. And um, over the course of the season, that's just gone from that to going into every game with confidence that we can get the win. Um, it's it's been like I say, such a topsy turvy season. Um, and it's just it's just it was a shame that we had to lose so many of our. Players, you know, the ones who got us promoted, the ones who've done us well in the first two years back in the football league. But um, I'm, I'm definitely feeling a new era with the county, and I think um, Warren Feeney is going to bring some good days our way, in, in the same way Justin Edinburgh did. So uh, watch this space. People have been talking about Wembley again. I don't know. Something tells me Wembley could be a possibility next season. So it's just a feeling. Just a feeling, you know. I'm not going to make any bold statements or predictions right now, but uh, just got a feeling Wembley is on the horizon again, and um, I'm not. I'm not going to say promotion, but just Wembley in some way. So, yeah, I might be chatting shit. I often do, but you know. Anyway, um, if there's anything in particular that you guys would like for me to bring up or discuss, or any questions you've got for me, I mean, you've all got me on Facebook, Twitter, message board. Or even through the YouTube, I mean, the comments just down there. Um, feel free to ask any questions in the next one. I'll, I'll gladly answer them. Any suggestions you've got as well? You know, happy to take it all on board. But in the meantime, all looking good. Crawley tomorrow night. I'm feeling a win in the same way we where we lost three 0 at home to York. We lost three 0 at home at home to Crawley. We went to York and won. We'll go to Crawley and win. There we go. My prediction: one nil. And who's going to score? Connor Wilkinson, not Bowden. Wilkinson's going to get the goal tomorrow. So uh, there we go, 1-0 Wilkinson. County 
pull themselves above Morgan. There we go. All right, cheers, guys, and until the next time, up the candy.